Hey girl, you ever feel like the clock just mocks you? One minute you're making coffee, the next it's practically sunset. Seriously, where does the time go? Between work, errands, and the never-ending to-do list, it's easy to forget to take care of ourselves, right? And our bodies? Oh, they feel it. Tight, achy, and maybe even a little slumped over. But guess what? You're not alone, girlfriend. And for days like this, I've got the perfect 15-minute fix. This quick workout hits all the key spots. Your abs, hamstring, glutes, upper back, and triceps. Everything you need to feel strong and energized again. Bonus, it's beginner friendly. Sweet, right? Do this whole routine with me and trust me, your body will be thanking you. Stronger, more energized, and your stress levels taking a major dive. Think of it as a little TLC for your amazing self. No fancy gym stuff is needed. Just get your mat and let's do this. All right, so you're gonna start by laying down on your back. You're gonna have your knees bent, feet flat, hands down at your sides. And you're gonna go into a basic bridge. You're gonna start by engaging in the abs, hollowing out that belly, imprinting your lower back into the mat. And then peeling one vertebra at a time off the mat as you push down into your feet and push up through your pubic bone really feeling your glutes fire up and the deep abs engaged, keeping your shoulders anchored on the mat. At the top of your bridge, you wanna make sure that you're feeling your glutes more than your hamstrings. And then on your exhale, you're gonna come down, imprinting one vertebra at a time onto the mat, keeping the back of your neck nice and long and your shoulders wide and open and coming all the way back to neutral home base position. And you're gonna go again, starting with the coccyx curl, hollowing out the belly, getting deep into the abs, peeling one vertebra at a time off the mat, really pushing up through your pubic bone, feeling your glutes fire up. At the top of your bridge, checking that your pelvis is level and that your pelvis isn't rotated. And then on your exhale, coming down one vertebra at a time, hollowing out the belly, getting deep into the abdominals, coming all the way back to home base. You're gonna go again, starting with the abs, imprinting your lower back into the mat, Peeling one vertebra at a time off the mat, pushing down into your feet, pushing up through your pubic bone, trying to open up the front of your hips, try to get the front of the hips very flat and long. And now from here, you're gonna add glute pulses, staying really anchored in the feet as you pulse the glutes, really pushing up through the pelvis, keeping the abs engaged. You wanna feel that glute burn really fast. <sighs> nice and controlled. <sighs> Getting that burn. <sighs> Remembering to breathe. <sighs> Hopefully you're feeling the booty burn. I'm gonna do two more. And then coming down one vertebra at a time. So from there, you're gonna to switch to the turned out position. So heels together, toes apart, knees open. You're gonna start with the coccyx curl, hollowing out the belly, peeling one vertebra at a time off the mat, really wrapping your glutes as you push up through your pubic bone, anchoring down into your feet at the top, feeling the glutes more than the hamstrings, and then adding in the pulses, nice and controlled and slow. Staying anchored in your feet, feeling the abs kicking in, supporting you. Feeling the burn. Halfway there. Really 
really trying to open up the hips. Lots of ab work. Three more if you can. And then coming down one vertebra at a time all the way back to neutral. And then from there, you're gonna turn in. So you're gonna open up your feet as wide as your mat, point your toes toward each other and bring your knees together. So you are in internal rotation. And now you're gonna go back up into the bridge, starting with the coccyx curl, hollowing out the belly, peeling one vertebra at a time off the mat, pushing up through your pubic bone, keeping your knees glued shut, feeling the glute med really kicking in here and adding in the pulses at the top. Nice and controlled and slow. Feeling the burn. Remembering to breathe. Eight more if you can. Ooh, on fire. Two more. And then go ahead, come down one vertebra at a time, back to neutral. Wow. All right, is your booty burning? All right, let's stretch it out. So cross one knee over the other, pull into your chest. I have my left knee or my right knee over the left and I'm moving my knees over to the left. So I feel that glute stretch kick in on that right side. And with each exhale, just gently trying to bring your knees in closer to your chest. And then switch so you have your right ankle over the knee, pulling into your chest. This time you're stretching out your rotator glute muscles. And then after your last exhale, switching sides, left knee over the right, pulling into your chest, shifting your knees over to your right so you feel it kick in on the left side. And then switching, so right ankle over the left knee, pulling into the chest. Excellent, all right, so from there, you're gonna bring your legs into tabletop position, have your hands down at your side, and you're gonna go into toe taps, tapping the toes down toward the floor without changing the shape of your legs. You can also do heel taps for more of a challenge. The further away your feet land from your booty, the more challenging it will be. You wanna do as many of these as you can until you start to feel your thighs or your lower back take over. You really wanna feel this in the powerhouse of the body, nice and low in the abs, feeling the psoas, keeping the shoulders nice and open, the back of your neck long, feeling it very deep in the belly. Working at a pace that you can really tap into what you're feeling. Feeling that ache in the low belly. I'm just gonna do a few more. It feels like my thighs wanna start taking over. Bring your knees into your chest and rock out your lower back. 
Hopefully that got your heat starting to go, right? Starting to feel your internal furnace. Oh. From there, you're gonna have your legs back in tabletop position. Place your hands behind your head. You're gonna exhale into your upper ab curl. And from here, you're gonna go into the single straight leg stretch, pulling one knee in towards the chest as the other leg extends out straight and switching sides. You wanna inhale twice, exhale twice as you switch. You wanna do as many sets as you can and rest when you need to. Keeping your shoulders off the mat. Hopefully you're feeling that low belly ache from the last exercise. I'm gonna do a couple more sets and then rest. Whew. And rock out your lower back. Oh my goodness. I am feeling the heat. We're gonna flip over onto our belly. You wanna place your hands in line with your shoulders. You wanna have your legs together in parallel or turned out. You wanna feel like you're isometrically contracting your legs so you feel the muscles working even though the legs are not moving. You're pushing your hips into the mat, feeling your belly button lift up off the mat, feeling your glutes fire up, gently opening up the shoulders, stitching the shoulder blades together. You're gonna go into swan. You're gonna inhale and extend as far as you feel safe in your low back. And then you're gonna exhale, come down nice and slow, really working your upper back and your triceps, keeping the glutes and abs on. And you're gonna repeat that, inhaling up as far as you feel safe. Exhaling down nice and slow, really challenging your arms and your upper back. And repeating that, inhaling up. Exhaling down. Nice and slow, keeping your head in line with your spine, legs, glutes, abs active. Inhaling up. Exhaling down, nice and slow. Feeling the burn of the triceps. Hopefully your triceps are on fire. Inhaling up. Exhaling down, nice and slow. Moving with your breath, controlling the breath. Woo. One more if you can, inhaling up. and exhaling down. Just hinging right at the elbows, keeping the scapula stable. Wow, feeling that burn. And then when you're done, coming into a child's pose, stretching out the spine in the opposite direction, pressing your hips down toward your heels, stretching out your lower back. If you wanna stretch your lats and shoulders, extend your arms overhead. Think about breathing into the back and side of your ribs. And then after your last exhale, gently coming up. Awesome work, feeling that glorious increase of strength and energy, I hope. Thank you for joining me today. And before we move on, 
Let's take a moment to appreciate these incredible bodies of ours that carry us through each day. These exercises are a way to say thank you to your body, to keep you strong and energized and ready for whatever comes next. Remember, every body is unique, so listen to yours and don't push yourself too hard. Consistency is key. Even just four times a week can make a huge difference. Start with what feels good and build those reps as you feel stronger. Here's the magic. Moving better translates to feeling amazing overall. You might be surprised at how much more energy you have, how much easier everyday tasks feel, and how much more confident you become in your own skin. So spill it. Which move was your favorite today? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more routines to help you stay strong and flexible. So keep up the fantastic work. Wishing you well for the rest of your day and I will see you in the next session. Bye for now. Special shout out to my Vital 7 stars. Thank you for making this video possible. Are you ready for exclusive content, early access to content and other perks? Join us on Patreon. Click on the link in the description of this post for more.